What's going on everybody, it's Alex back with another video and today we got some news on a game that I am incredibly excited for, Cyberpunk 2077. This game has been so hyped up over the past year and honestly I cannot wait to just get more details on it, much less actually get my hands on the game. We got the gameplay that you guys are watching right now at E3 last year and honestly it looks so good. We were told from the very beginning that the game was nowhere near complete, they were really just finishing this one area to make it look like a complete game, but really outside of this it was not complete at all. So obviously there's a lot of the game that we haven't seen, but the area that we did looked extremely well done and polished. Maybe I'm speaking for myself here, but I kind of feel like it looked like a complete game, but apparently it was not, and it's actually looking completely different now than it did back then. I'll leave the article down below, but apparently CD Projekt Red did an interview and they talked a lot more about how the game has progressed since the E3 2018 demo. Keep in mind that this interview is not done in English, therefore a lot of the translations are going to be a little awkward, but you'll be able to understand what they're talking about. So they mentioned that there are obviously many things that we have not revealed about the game yet. There are things we are still working on, and they would like to say that the game is quite different from the gameplay that was shown last year. But as they said, there are still details of which we are currently working on. As I mentioned earlier, the slice of the game that we saw really was just a tiny little piece of the world in the game as a whole. And obviously, it's been almost a year since we saw this gameplay, meaning that the build that we saw was probably over a year old. They've been implementing a lot of new content and polishing what was actually already there. Apparently, since then, they've actually figured out a much better idea of what the game is going to look like, and as I've mentioned before, it's very different than what we saw. So he mentions that we are polishing everything and constantly thinking how to make the game more interesting, how to make the gameplay cool, and while the gameplay we saw last year was basically a small fragment of the game. There was not a clear picture of how the game fits into an open world or how it fits into a larger image of the game. To me, the gameplay that we saw looked really exciting and that's what I wanted to play, but maybe it's not going to be as good afterwards. That still is somewhat of a fear, something to keep in the back of your mind. However, CD Projekt Red is one of the best developers in my opinion, and I have full faith in them that what they are going to be putting out is even better than what we saw at E3. If you're not aware of who CD Projekt Red is, they're the developers of Witcher 3. This game is known to many as one of the best games ever. Even if it's not your favorite game or if you've never picked it up, needless to say CD Projekt Red is an incredible developer. Honestly, there are quite a few developers that I feel put out good products year after year. But honestly, I feel like there are only two developers that I could really have faith in something like this, that being Rockstar and CD Projekt Red. These developers have the resources and the talent to be able to put together any project and I have full faith that they would be able to do it. So because I have so much faith in CD Projekt Red, even though the gameplay looked amazing before and I really don't know if I would want it to change, I'm pretty confident that the gameplay will actually end up being better than it looks right here. Also, in this interview, we actually got a little bit of insight on what inspired the game, and more specifically, which two games really inspired this game. So when asked what inspired this game, he said, for my part, personally, Vampire Bloodlines. In terms of what is RPG in the first person and the way in which its non-linearity is built in the gameplay and dialogue, so this one, of course. Specifically, because it's the perfect example of a first-person game and RPG that I personally enjoy. This is something very important. Not only is he taking notes from a very epic and successful game, this is a game that he personally enjoyed. Now that may not sound very important to you, but as a content creator of any level, whether it be 5 minute YouTube videos or full on AAA gaming titles, the more passion you have behind the project, the better it will end up being. So the fact that he's so clearly passionate about it and he's excited about what he's actually basing it off of, I think it's pretty safe to say that this is actually going to be really solid. He also mentioned the Deus Ex franchise, especially the original Deus Ex. Now when people first saw the gameplay, a lot of people, myself included, made the comparison to Deus Ex. Although Deus Ex was never an open world game, it gave you the options to complete the missions. It was a very linear story, however, each mission you could complete any way you wanted. If you wanted to be stealthy and completely non-lethal, you could do that. If you wanted to go in guns blazing, you could do that as well. The whole game was based around problem solving and being able to choose how you wish to play the game. And this is something we saw a lot of in this gameplay demo at E3 last year. They made it very very apparent that you could handle any mission how you wanted and there was just complete freedom. This is something that I think everyone is excited for. A game of this scale and having so much freedom is going to be so amazing. So although we haven't gotten any gameplay since the gameplay that you're 
you're seeing right now, which is about a year old, without a doubt, we will be getting more news and more gameplay at E3 this year. And I think it's going to be really interesting to see what it looks like at this point, because if this is correct, the gameplay is going to be completely different. But honestly, this is one of my most hyped games this year, and I cannot wait for more news, more info. So I will definitely be updating you guys on this YouTube channel whenever we get some information. But let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think about Cyberpunk 2077? Do you think it's going to live up to the hype? But that's it for today. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like, make sure to subscribe. If you haven't already, thank you guys for the support. Peace out.